Hello everyone, this is Virin and welcome to the Fantasy Match Preview for the game between Lucknow and Bangalore. Super important eliminator, whoever wins this is going to face the winner of the qualifier one. And keep in mind that the depositors giveaway is active. So even though IPL is ending, you have nothing to be sad about because you can use this deposit cash bonus in the uh, come upcoming games post the IPL as well. And apart from that, you have a lot of prizes to be won. So there's a depositors giveaway leaderboard on the fan to play app this time, which, which means you can check your rank on that leaderboard and win prizes like the bullet, the Activa, a OnePlus phone and so much more like you can see in the image above so take full advantage of that make the highest possible deposit and win lots of prizes apart from that the fan to play leaderboard the fourth phase is coming to an end very soon and the two lakh rupees that you wanted is awaiting you so make 25 teams and win that leaderboard right now so it's time for the playoffs and we have a super special guest with us crick crazy next one of our final previews for this season so how are you doing and how is the tempo for the playoffs so far, so good. Last few games have been okay. Uh, as far after the experiment period of the IPL. So, hopefully, lesser of those random changes around the bowling last overs. And uh, oh. yes, hopefully, hopefully they go well. I'm sure. I'm sure they will. I think the best part about a knockout or a must-win game is that they will not screw around too much, which is slightly better for us too. <laughs> so, anyway, let's look at the team then for today. So, first up, the keepers. I think Rahul and Decock pick themselves. Even though Decock has a few matchups, would you take a risk on him? Uh, I'll be very tempted to, to be honest. Uh, few th few factors to keep in mind. The game is in Kolkata. There's a mm. lot of rain around there. So, what are the conditions? That is very important. If it's if it's dry and good mm. for batting, you should not take a risk on Quinton. But mm. if, if they're expected to, to be movement up top, and bowling first, maybe I think Josh Hazelwood should be able to get uh, out. He has a very good matchup. So uh, I think he can take him out. He took him down last game as well, I think. So yeah. uh, in that sense, you can take the risk. But if it's batting conditions, then you should definitely not take the risk. Right. And uh, similarly for Rahul, do you feel like if there is bounce and movement, can it trouble him? Or do you see him just playing it out like he generally does? Yeah, I don't think he's going to risk anything. In any, he doesn't risk any which way, which is which mm. the striker explains of below 100. So, he's wanting to play through the uh, power play, which is fair to him. Uh, but with Lewis there, I feel uh, mm. KL can put the uh, early pressure on the bowlers and then that could really get the innings going for Lucknow. So, let's see. Uh, Rahul is probably the safest option in this game after Maxwell. All right. <laughs> okay. So I think we have two keepers. Then the batsmen, Virat and Faf, again, pretty much pick themselves, especially because both of them have got form in the last game. And uh, similarly, Huda has been scoring a plenty load of runs. Any kind of risk that you see within these three that you can take? Uh, maybe while batting first, I'll probably drop one out now. Uh, whichever team that's batting first. Uh, because yeah. I don't. If the if there is some movement on offer, uh, we do see new ball wickets falling in uh, Kolkata. So uh, that will maybe risk one of not depending on toss. And uh, very tempted to take Emil Lewis uh, because some very good numbers he plays spin well, short boundaries. Mm. He could really cash in and score a big one. And the fact that he has good numbers against Maxwell as well, uh, and he's hammered uh, uh, Harshil Patel like for 36 mm. around 10 <laughs> balls. So, uh, not many people have done that. So, if he can do that, the middle order problem that's there, he will then set the game up nicely for Stoinis and Holder to finish. So, I think Lewis will form a very key part of that lineup. Okay, so we are going with him then as fourth batsman for now. And anyway, even if he gets out for below 10, he'll take three catches and give you 32 yeah. points. So, there's no problem yeah. there. Uh, yes. Okay, then the all-rounders, again, like you said, the safest pick of this game, Maxwell, and he he's probably the best captaincy choice too. Yeah. And uh, do you see, what what do you think about Holder? Because he's sometimes he's bowling 3-4, sometimes he's bowling 2, sometimes he's bowling 1. <laughs> he's bowled all the different types of overs that you can see in a game. So, how do you pick him in this scenario? Yeah, I think it's very important to see the kind of bowlers Lucknow like pick. Because when Mohsin is bowling well, uh, with Avesh in the power play, there is also the, mm. the Chamira. 
so then there is no room to play holder in the power play yeah. holder is probably at his best in the power play uh, because he's not always bowling at the depth so yeah. what type of bowlers are playing are important if there is no chamira like last year holder may bowl in the power play so probably while bowling first i will again 100% pick holder uh, even, even if he doesn't take a uh, wicket wicket and uh, doesn't bowl more than 3 overs but bowling first is probably a safer time to take him Hmm. Bowling second, maybe you can drop him for somebody like a Mohsin or a Bishnoi or whoever you feel will do better. Okay, so for now, assuming that they're going to bowl first, let's slot hmm. in holder too. And that yeah. will sum it up well with two all-rounders. And uh, yeah. surprisingly, in this game, we have only three so- slots left for the bowlers, while <laughs> which we otherwise look at differently. So, yeah. who, are, who are your three key men on a pitch which we are expecting to be batting friendly? A uh, slightly tougher call with Josh Hazelwood because he's sometimes not been at his best on batting decks. Uh, but yeah. I do feel he played key roles for uh, Bangalore in all of their games whenever they won. So if Bangalore yeah. are to win, Josh Hazelwood has to do well. So he uh, definitely slots in and one of the two as well uh, because I think his batting potential is going to be used in this very game. Uh, and yeah. it could be wrong, but it's a hunch that I feel that they'll, they might promote him on the order. Uh, because he can counter that Lucknow bowling attack, uh, just put them off the plans, uh, basically. Mm. So, let's see whether that happens. So, Hasanang and Josh is definitely. And then, Avesh has been on and off, to be very honest. Uh, he's not always been at his best. So, probably I'll stick with Avesh Khan, but if Bangalore go mm. first, then probably I'll not take Jason Holder and I'll take Harshal Patel. And then I I'll, will still have Avesh Khan as one of the bowlers because Vishnu also has been a bit on and off. So it's a call between Mohsin and Avesh eventually. Uh, so for now, I'm going with Avesh because we've taken Kohli and Faf. So if we've taken Kohli yeah. and Faf, then Mohsin has to be wicketless. So wicketless, uh, yeah. going for the team combination, I'm going with Avesh Khan for the death overs bowling. And interestingly, like you mentioned, most of the Lucknow bowling across games, you'll see that everybody has had a sparky performance here and there, but nobody has had like three games in a row with maybe just two wickets too. So, mm-hmm. I think that will be interesting and the toss will determine, the toss in the playing 11 will determine a lot about who your final combination features. And uh, you, you spoke about Hasaranga. Uh, anyway, at Kolkata, is known to be good to Sri Lankan spinners from Ajanta Mendes to Senanayake. Yeah. So yeah. maybe we have a surprise performance with the bat there from him too. Yeah, possible, possible. Because okay. like one so, other thing, you have to be able to surprise the opposition. So I think hmm. Bangalore do have a lot of such guys. So let's see whether they do it or it's just us thinking over over the. <laughs> and how do you balance this out? So, if you see now our final team combination, we have four Lucknow batters plus we have Holder and we have three RCB bowling options. So, yeah. how like how do you make the balance to understand that, okay, maybe we are not backing the RCB batting as much or do you expect that Faf and Virat are just going to run through and Maxwell will finish? So, for now, if you huh. see, we've taken top order of both sides. We've taken hmm. dead bowlers of both sides. So, it's fairly balanced overall. Now, after the pitch and toss, maybe we can take a call that, okay, the side batting first is more favourable or the side batting second. And then accordingly, as I said, I'll probably drop one of the openers of the side mm. batting first, take a middle order back and then have the combination going accordingly. Because I feel in the knockouts, I would rather rely more on the experienced guys to come good. Okay, got it. So, I think that's pretty elaborate and tells us everything. But uh, I, then looking at the ca- captain and vice captain, do you think Maxwell will simply be the majority choice and should be the safe choice too? And who will be vice captain then in that scenario? Yeah, because if you see uh, in last few games, the common guys are the ones who, who perform. They've had the luck with them. Uh, like hmm. in the game again, uh, we discussed about the Gujarat game as well. He shouldn't have had Wade, should have been out first ball. But he ended up with a lot of points. So, it's been happening with a lot of guys. So, I don't think hmm. it's risky. Uh, I think it's very risky for small leagues if you don't make hmm. Max Lee happen. Because he's bowling as well. We know he will bowl to Quinton. We know he will bowl to Lewis even though he's not got them out. Because he's also hmm. taking out the right hand of batters. So, and he takes a lot of catches. So, it's probably the safest possible way out uh, for your small league team. But yes, in hmm. grand league team, we definitely drop it, go with Kohli, Faf, 
uh, low cage could then you have a lot of options there for grand leagues any which way so small league probably maxwell as a first choice kl rahul second and then if jason holder bowls first possibly three uh, the the third choice that is got it okay so i think we have enough information in the terms of small league and grand league apart from that who do you see as challenge picks in this game and how many uh, probably three again uh, hmm. starting definitely with maxwell and uh, very tempted to put uh, evan lewis here uh, hmm. again for the reasons that we discussed he could be a very differential uh, very good differential pick and then one of the bowlers uh, from either the first or the second innings depending on the conditions if you feel There is a new ball value. Then you can definitely yeah. take somebody like a Josh Hill or if Bangalore are bowling first. And if it's the other way around, if Lakshna are bowling first, then you can definitely take a holder, even a Mohsin Khan for that matter. Right, right. Okay, so I think that sums up the challenge picks well. And I like that you have taken not one but more than one risk in the challenge picks this time. So mm-hmm. people are going to win some big prizes there. Apart from that, yes, prizes remind me of the fact that you have the giveaway to join too, and the code for this game is RCB FCP. And I'm putting my hands up here right now and saying that we are not backing RCB. That is just the code for the game. So ensure that you join that giveaway. Apart from that, any closing comments from you, Nikhil? Anything that you'd like to add in terms of GL or any time a kind of joining strategy? Oh, uh, I'll say just in the last few games, I've done much much better in Grand Leagues. Uh, when I've just backed my visualization and not worried about uh, the recent form or uh, the possible coming through of a player, I think at hmm. times we take too much risk on a guy who's not in form and expect that today he'll score, today he'll score. So I think hmm. that all has to be controlled. That yes, you can take a risk on them, but if you've already taken a risk on them, it doesn't make sense to make them captain or vice captain because then it leaves a lot to chance. And we've already seen. Even in the last game that Hyderabad played, uh, like Livingston should have been out on zero, but uh, he didn't take any wickets. He should have been out 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 to Umar Malik, but he wasn't. So you realize maybe the I'm not saying back the common guys, but back hmm. the guys who are in form and are playing key roles. They are far likely to give right. you points in any which ways as compared to say banking on a Shahrukh Khan to come good or banking on a Jagdish hmm. Sachit to take three. So they might take one. They might score a ten fifteen, but then. A lot of things have to no go right for them. Value, yeah, yeah. So the fantasy value is what I was hmm. intending to uh, come to. That find out what's the best fantasy value for the guys. Shabazz and Ahmed, like those guys, party that they can all perform well. So back them in combinations where their value comes through much better. So just making that combination is probably at times more important. Right, so I think it's all about playing and picking the key role players, and we have to wait for maybe another year to pick players based on real match impact till that kind of thing is accounted for on the app. But for now, all the good luck to you, all the best to everyone, and you can join us on the Telegram channel for your final team and second innings updates. Yes, happy with you guys. Have a good one. Hopefully, the rain stays away. <laughs>